So, uh, you know, we humans are hardwired to experience threat, to perceive threat, to run or fight, fight or flight, all the way back from our days in the jungles and hunting and gathering. But we've arrived at a time in the modern world where there, there are very few real threats and mostly psychological threats that we invent and fixate upon. And so this tapping round will help you with uh, releasing this, this automatic response in your nervous system to get, for lack of a better word, nervous <laughs> when you <laughs> perceive a threat in your environment that could very well not really be threatening, like other people or uh, the unknown, for instance. The unknown it could be an adventure. It could be a great, exciting mystery. But once you start projecting your fears into the unknown, well then, that's where you start to feel threatened. So pick something in your life that would elicit a threat. Could be a person, could be COVID, it could be just an idea like raising your level of worthiness to ask for more money, to ask for a raise from your boss. Anything that you want and we'll do a, a round of tapping for this concept called threat. And for many of us, threats are perceived as outside of us, like a virus that can attack you, a country that can attack you. And, and many people, it's like, no, there is no more outside threat. It's all about my ego and my thoughts, and I need to change my thoughts. And that's great. That's a step in the right direction. <sighs> But even thinking of your ego as a threat or as a manufacturer of threats, it still creates a sense of enemy, but the enemy now is within. So we're going to go one step further where there is no enemy and your ego is just the part of you that hasn't known love. So what heals is love more love, not judgment, not making the ego wrong, but love. Mwah. All right, you got something in mind? Even though I perceive this as a threat, I choose to love, honor, and accept myself. Even though I perceive a lot of things as threatening, maybe threatening to my body, or just threatening to my sense of self. Even though I perceive a lot of threats, I choose to love and honor myself dearly. Even though there's a part of me that constantly feels threatened by something or someone, I choose to dearly love and honor this part of me that has been scared and frozen and worried. I love you. And I deeply love and accept all of me, including and especially the parts of me that haven't gotten enlightened yet, that are still feeling scared and helpless and vulnerable to threats. This sense of threat, this sense of being threatened, as if my mind is preparing for imminent danger. And the way that I've learned to prepare is by holding my breath, contracting my body, tightening. And 
I'm open to trusting that if I breathe deeper and let go of the tightness, nothing bad's going to happen. Unless lions and tigers and bears are actually chasing me, I am open to the possibility that life is non threatening. Life is here to help me grow and supports me every step of the way. I'm open to the possibility that I can let go in my nervous system of this tension of constantly being on guard and alert to threats. It's as if I've been living in a very cramped courtroom and I've been on trial, and it's very serious. I've had to wear uncomfortable clothes and listen to a prosecuting attorney and fear that I'm being judged and that I'll be punished. And suddenly, I realize, I think this is just a dream. And you are still in the dream, and you go, Get up, go to the back, and open the door. And the door is unlocked. Nobody stops you. You walk down the courtroom steps. You take off your, your tight attire. And underneath your formal courtroom clothing is a bathrobe or a bathing suit or something something fun, something very comfortable. And, and you see that there's a playground across the street. And you see that there are children playing. And you realize just how safe and non-threatening life is. And you join those children in play. And there's no threat at all. I can be present. I can be lighthearted. I don't have to plot and plan my way through life anymore. I can let it unfold and feel the divine hand that I hold. No more do I need to scold myself or anyone else. I just love myself. And my nervous system relaxes. Whether I'm swimming in a pool or doing my taxes, <laughs> <laughs> it all can be done through the lens of fun. Because as A Course in Miracles says, nothing real can be threatened and nothing unreal actually exists. The rest of my life is the best of my life. Because from this moment on, it's all non-threatening. It's all an adventure. An adventure with a happy ending and a happy middle. Because nothing and no one opposes my joy. It's always been mine to claim. And I claim it now. In body, mind, and spirit. <sighs> what a relief! <laughs>